everybody! <laughs> We're talking about links and bears. 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 Fat Bear Week! The Fat bears. bears Week! The Bears. The Bears. Anyways, hi, welcome to 25 North. <laughs> the, um, the number one Chicago Bears podcast on the internet. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not getting fucking hooked into that shit. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. I ate 25 Polish sausages. What sport is that? Is that baseball? That's baseball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got what? it one. Bears isn't baseball. The, the Cubs Chicago Bears is baseball. No, it's not. Cubs are baseball. Bears are a different football. sport. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, God. My dad's a Cubs fan, so that's the oh. only one I know. Bear related. Know. You know one more than I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right now this season the Bears are the worst team in the league. So. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I think the Broncos are worse. But Oh, no. That's my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. The Bears are in our little group of four, right, Jason? Yeah. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, so let's talk about Fat Bear Week. <laughs> because that's why we're talking about the bears. Because yes. Lunar was going to regale us with the tales of Fat Bear Week 2023. All right, so ladies and gentlemen and uh, members of the jury, I come to you in the form of a Google Doc that I got. <laughs> hyperfixations that people on the internet like to know about. This has been going on since 2014. At Rally, it started off as Fat Bear Tuesday in 2014 with over a million votes uh, casted in 2020, uh, too, actually. But so Fat Bear Week is an annual celebration of, su of success. Basically, there is a poll held about bears for seven days. And people were just watching, like, watching them eat as many salmon and just live their best life. And, yeah, people just, for several days, just do this vote. And people can vote on them, like, whatever criteria they see fit. And in the end, there's only one bear that will reign supreme. Uh, they had a nature camp set up this time around. It was starting off from October 4th to October 10th, so it actually just recently ended, too. This year's winner was, let me see. I'm trying to pull it up right now. I've got all the names of the bears, by the way, in case people are very curious. <laughs> very curious. Let's see, La like 2014's winner with 480 votes was Otis. 2015's with 409 votes was Beadnose. 2016 and 2017, Otis once again. 2018, Beadnose came in as a winner. Then 20, oh no, 2018 was Bead Nose. 2019 was Holly with 435 votes. And then they started listing off the bears with other, with other numbers. So I'm trying to find that. The current winner or the winner for this year, because there's two cubs that won. I don't know their names, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I'm lacking my... You. I'm, I know, man. I'm slacking on Fat Bear Week. Names. <laughs> Listen, there's some really good names for the bears. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm lacking on them right now. But they're huge bears. If you look it up online, just Fat Bear Week, you'll find these bears. Uh, there's like Grazer's one of the names of the winners or one of the runner-ups. Walker was one of them. It's just... It's so much fun to watch these big fucking bears eat so much salmon in one sitting. It's remarkable. I think the only downside to Fat Bear Week is it's it makes bears seem too friendly. Because where I'm from, like, oh yeah, people were just killed in a bear attack like earlier this week. Oh god. So yeah, it's that time of year up here where like there's entire sections of the national park that are closed down because of bears. Yeah. If not friend, why friend shaped? If not friend, why friend shaped? Look at those ears. They are so cute. I'm trying to get oh. the list of some of the names. There was Chunk. One of the bears' names was Chunk. <laughs> He's Apparently, scared. Bear 128, known as Grazer, was crowned the 2023 Fat Bear Week champion. That's right. He was a big bear, too. 
After receiving nearly five times as many votes as the runner-up, Bear 32, known as Chunk. Yeah, that's why I saw Chunk's list. There were a lot of bears this year. And it yeah, was our bear, bear that we have in the area is named as is known as the Boss, <laughs> and he is uh, like a 650, 700 pound grizzly bear um, who pretty much dominates the park and is well known as being somewhat problematic, but good enough that they haven't had to put him down, thankfully. There is one other bear that I do know about that's unrelated to Fat Bear Week. There is a bear that I have heard so many stories about called Hank the Tank. And he has some of the best pictures on the internet. If you look him up, he looks... He looks so good. Just... (laughs) Sometimes you look up a bear picture and you you just feel so happy looking up a bear. He's also a 500 pound uh, American black bear that lived in Tahoe uh, Keys, uh, California. And she would sneak into people's homes and just eat their food. <laughs> she was a menace. <laughs> Anyways, that's my bear facts for this, uh, for this fucking month. <laughs> How to be a menace in South Central. Uh, just be a bear. <laughs> that's it. All right. Well... Uh, who wants to who wants to recap the last episode? I'm gonna put it on you this week. <laughs> Zabo Trav will tell the people what happened. Zabo will do it. This will be unbiased, I'm sure. Yes, you know, I gloriously charged into combat with ugly bird vulture thing, and in but mere moments cut it down with my great blade, vivisecting it as it fell from sky after I shook tree with mighty blow. I took no damage at all and everything went very easy. Right, guys? Yeah, just just about right. Other than the falling unconscious and creepy southern lady or Minnesota lady coming out. Why would you say she's creepy? She said she'd make you pumpernickel bread. It's creepy. (laughs) (laughs) Woman that that would make me bread for free. Something's up with her. Yeah, that's not right. What does she want? That is what she want. <laughs> she wants to sign up for a pyramid scheme, actually. No. Mary, Mary Kay. Oh no. Oh no. The most terrifying of all. Not the MLMs. <laughs> and we found an invisibility potion. Yep, yeah. totally an invisibility potion. I thought and it a- was a leaping potion. You were uh-huh. incorrect. It's gonna be very so that's useful. That's what Zaba knows, but Syl definitely doesn't. <laughs> I love Syl dice. thinks that's that's an invisibility potion. <laughs> they are really proud of themselves for identifying something magical. I'm so, proud of them yeah. too, man. Look at yeah. Syl, go yeah. off. You got this. Yeah. It's so after great. looting the nest of this ugly bird creature, we made our way around the, the bend and encountered another horrifying monster. This one from Syl's past. Yeah, I Iron think we ferns. were about to engage in a beautiful combat. True. That and about does it, yeah. Like, did they, like, run away into the forest when they see Zaba? That, that works, too. The ferns? No. Yeah. Ah, it's worth checking. But, you know what we can do? We're going to start... Move. We're going to start with combat. How about that? <laughs> oh, no. Let's roll for that combat. Oh hey. man. May the may bears bless me, please. This is hey, our last one for new hero pizza. points, right? Episode 17 is when we do hero points, so. What the fuck? I'm still Why? rolling real hot over here. Why did I roll so good on my. Oh god. Why did I roll so good on my initiative? Jesus. So, yeah. So we refresh our hero points next episode. If you want to use that meta knowledge. I do. Because hero points are just throw, Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Gotcha. Now we begin. Okay. Fuck. Timmy, Timmy, Tim, Tim. Hi, uh, it's me. It's Chaboy. Okay. 
So I can see these things, granted I'm gonna be past Zaba, right? Like, if I were to do a spell, I should be fine, right? Or no? But I would, do you want me to move up? Yeah, you should be fine. You can you can go through your your um, ally. Yeah, okay. That's Corey good. Okay. Yeah, big bong from Corey. <laughs> big bong from Corey. Let's go. Bing bong. Fuck your life. Okay. I'm going to target the first one then that I see over there. And I'm going to cast Daze. Mm. I think it should work on this thing, maybe, probably. So it's a 13 on the dice, which so that's a failure. Wow! Nice! Okay. Roll that damage, that's four mental damage. <laughs> it take it takes none of that mental damage. Well fuck me! Uh <laughs> Fine then. Can I roll recall knowledge on this thing? Because I don't know what's up with it. I don't think we've had a chance to say what yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, do... A chore. Right. Now one second. Oh, yeah, go for it. There you go. Up. Oh, boy. Me? So... These things are mimics. These are... They, they are not iron ferns. Whoa. What Syl just told you is not true. These are not iron ferns. These, these are all mimics, these three. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, Timothy says, "Hey, are you? Sh no, they're not iron ferns. These, these are mimics." What's that mean? I don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 they're mimics. Yeah, I mean, you would know that mimics. Are, oh yeah. They're like they're kind of legendary. Yeah, I mean, like. But you've never faced one. You just I've kind never, of yeah. heard of them. I've never fought one before, but they're mimics. They probably, I've heard they can transform. Possibly, that's why we're fighting something that you've is, seen, maybe. Is good news, mimics bleed. Yeah, uh, they didn't like, or they didn't take any of my mental damage, so hey, maybe let's not do that. <laughs> so you're up. Okay. Be careful. That was useful. I will drop into a stance. I know fucking nothing. They're mimics. <laughs> Move forward <laughs> 20 feet or so. Still kind of in the corridor. And throw a card at the front one. All right. And you, these, and they're, they should be flat footed to you, right? Because you went right. first? Yes. And use stealth because that was my exploration activity. Woo! That's a hit. Yay. All right. So. Eight slashing, theoretically. It takes some of it. Because it's transformed into that. Uh, they sure okay. seem like those things, Timothy. The, listen, the voice from beyond the veil told me they were mimics, man. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. And you got one. Oh, you went into no, the stance. No, I stanced, right? yeah. All right. Well, Mr. Vesuviak, the Molten. All right. Mr. Uh, the Molten, it's your turn, <laughs> uh, Mr. the Molten. <laughs> yeah, Vesuviak's going to move up past Zappa and just behind Sil so he can get into sight with these... Black creature. Whatever these are. <laughs> Whether they be mimics or iron ferns, I guess, is up to God. <laughs> And he is going to go ahead and... It would be and... a nature check to recall knowledge on these things. <laughs> uh, I don't want a nature check. I already kind of know that I want to attack, so I'm going to summon a spiritual weapon out there. Ooh. When you cast the spell, the weapon appears next to a foe of your choice. Whoa. Within range and makes a strike against it. Each time you sustain the spell, you can move the weapon to a new target within range and strike with it. The spiritual weapon uses and contributes to your multiple attack penalty. The strikes are melee attacks. Regardless of its appearance, the weapon deals force damage equal to 1d8 plus your spell casting modifier. You can deal damage of the type normally dealt by the weapon instead of force. No other statistics or, straight or traits of the weapon apply, even... A ranged weapon attacks adjacent creatures only. Despite making a spell attack, the spiritual weapon is a weapon 
for purposes of triggers, resistances, and so forth. It does not take up any space, does not grant flanking, nor have any attributes that a creature would. Okay, so let me throw a token on the board for you. Sounds good. I would like it right here if I could, right next, uh, in between two of the lashes here. Are they lashes? Or, sorry, not Lashy's Iron Ferns. <laughs> I, I think I like plant how... monster, and my brain immediately goes Lashy. <laughs> I've biased you. That's great. <laughs> okay. Mm. I... Okay, let's do this. Let me pull up something. Let's hey, pull just... up a... Draw a sword. <laughs> Draw a discard with like a Twitch mod sword. <laughs> I keep looking at pictures of Hank the Tank while we've been doing this, by the way. <laughs> She's just so perfect. <laughs> Lovely bear. They do be quite large. <laughs> I dropped a link in crew chat to the boss. I saw him. He's beautiful and perfect. Okay, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> and you're going to I'm going to attack uh, the Leshy that is just to the left of where the spiritual weapon showed up so let's throw that on the table maybe a 7 plus 10 is a 17 which is a miss. miss that's okay at least I got the spiritual weapon on the table all right, so you moved, and you spent two actions to cast. So we now go to one of the ferns. This one will... Okay, it has a burrow speed of five. Oh. Second action third action, and it gets pops up right in front of Syl. Yeah. And that is its turn. And we go to the, the other one. It goes, pops up right there, and we go to Zaba. Well, due to bad initiative and the arrangement of allies and enemies, Zaba is pretty well trapped in this corridor. Um without making some sort of miraculous leap over top of the enemies, essentially. You could. You could uh, tumble through. If you have a good acrobatics, you could throw your javelins. Yeah. Is there the, the headspace to jump rather than tumble above them? Yeah, so let's look up long jump. Let's look that up here. Backwards long jump like you would in a fucking Zelda speed run. <laughs> Zelda? That's Mario 64. Oh, that's right. No, because there's, there, there's some sort of. There's an item sliding so in the long, long jump is a two action athletics skill action, unless you have the quick jump feet, which you might. I don't know if you do or not. I don't believe so. Not that one. So you have to stride and then make a horizontal leap, which you can stride through allies. So don't forget that you can stride through allies. Make a horizontal leap and attempt an athletics check to increase the length of your jump. The DC of the check is equal to the total distance in feet that you are attempting to leap during, to move during your leap. Uh, for example, you'd need to succeed a DC 20 check to leap 20 feet. You cannot leap farther than your speed. If you didn't stride at least 10 feet, or you attempt to jump in a different direction than you stride, you automatically fail the check. Cool. The DC might increase or decrease due to the situation determined by the GM. That all sounds completely rational to Zaba, so that will be what he does. Yeah, so you'd go... So take one, a 10, two, yeah. 10 foot stride and then another 10 feet to leap. And what's your what's your athletics? Uh, it's not bad. What, uh, what is it? Because you might not even need to roll. Oh, oh yeah, you have, have to roll in case I you get a, a natural plus 14. one. What's that? Uh, I'm at a plus thirteen. If you get a natural one, that'd be a fourteen. 
which would be a success, which would drop it down one if you rolled a natural one, which would just be a failure. So yeah, okay. <laughs> that's Ooh. not a success, or that is a, that's a three on the die. Not a failure. But that's not a failure. That is a success, and you can land in right there. So that was two actions to get. So Zaba moves through Vesuviac, through Sil, then leaps over the Iron Fern, landing right between the iron fern the two iron ferns that moved that burrowed with the spiritual weapon right behind it and one more iron fern 10 feet away from zava so zava's right in the thick of it uh right in the middle where i would like to be and i'll just finish out my round by taking a single two-handed swing on the fern directly to my north between myself and sill sounds great Enjoying that flanking bonus. 18 on the die with the flanking bonus. That would have been a critical hit, even minus the flank. Hell yeah. Let's make it bleed. Oh, there we go. That's 40 40 points of slashing damage. That's a full Timothy. 40 points of slashing damage. And this thing crumples, even with the hardness. This thing just shatters. Like Zaba comes down with that bat with the bastard sword in one hand, not even in two hands, just one hand, just comes swinging down. And as the sword hits, you can see the metallic coating around the creature that was protecting it just shatter into like this cloud of rust, and the and the blade just goes right through the uh, moist meat of the creature. Ew. Awful. (laughs) (laughs) These are simple beasts. And we go to the last remaining fern sitting atop this stone ledge. It will spend two actions to do something that every mimic does. Release spores in a 30-foot emanation. Thank oh, fuck, I'm out of there, man. Oh. Did it. No. Uh, the cloud lasts for one minute or until a strong wind dis- uh, disperses it. Creatures that begin their turn in the cloud take piercing damage. A basic fortitude save can mitigate some of that. A critical failure, the creature is blinded for one round. The, spore, the iron fern cannot release spores again for another that many rounds. <laughs> I like he didn't save that for us. And it is going to burrow. Oh, wait. I, I'm in a template mode. It's going to burrow five feet closer to Zaba. And we go to Timmy Tim. I'm starting to feel like the god that told me that, hey, maybe these are mimics. Might have been a fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've never seen a mimic do this. but Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> I was like, can I recall knowledge again? But I don't fucking trust myself, so... Timothy's gonna move up just a little bit, but not to be in the cloud. So he's okay. Fuck. So that's my move action. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't. You gotta tell me. (laughs) Well, all right, hold fucking, hold your horse. Uh, (laughs) uh, I actually want to use Glimpse Vulnerability. I'm gonna hold my implement and then I'm gonna use Glimpse Vulnerability. So. I'm Pull actively sating. All right, you're pulling out your wand for one action, and then you're going to use your glimpse vulnerability. You're yes. holding your implement. You glimpse a hidden vulnerability and then strengthen it to aid you. Select the creature you see. Yes. Until you glimpse again, the, the, that target gains weakness, too, against your, your unarmed and your weapon strikes. And the one right in front of you? Yes. All right. <laughs> So it gains a weakness two to you. All right. Just your weapon and unarmed strikes. Yep. I fucking throw it. It is your turn. All right. Do I. Yes, you need to make this this save. That is a success. You will take half damage. I'm so glad I healed you before this. Yeah. That was super nice. So take half of 11, so you just take 5. Okay. And then I would like to try to tumble through this thing directly 
diagonal since it looks okay. like it's right up against the uh, yep. edge. And you should be able to target and use the tumble macro, and it'll tell you if it succeed or not. The tumble oh, throw macro. I didn't pull that one out. That's yet. fine. You can oh. just do it. Just... Acrobatics for now? Yep. Acrobatics. And it's against 20? its reflex DC. That is. Double check. That is a success. Nice. So I'm now flanking this one with Saba. And I will strike at it. Five on the die. I thought that would still be a hit, but that is just barely a miss. Oh, good. And then I will back out of this gross, gross spore cloud, whatever it is. So I don't take more damage next time. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Have fun, Zaba. We go to Vesuviak next. Okay. Question. Uh, well, first I need to make that save, so let me do that. Man. That is a failure by one. You will take full damage. Yikes. It was a 16 roll, so. I know, man. That is 12. a good chunk. I didn't like that. Okay, first action on my yeah, turn. I should, I should, I should also describe this to you since you haven't seen this before. These are spores of iron shards, like, like sharp shards of iron in the air that you're breathing into your lungs. Oh. oh. Ouch. Oh. Okay. That fucking sucks. Yeah, I'm a. I'm gonna use an action then to sustain my spell, and just to confirm the move and strike action as a part of the sustainment. Is that all the same action, or do I still have to make a move and a strike action with the spiritual weapon? All right, well, let me double check here. When you cast a spell, it appears each time you each time you sustain, which sustain is one action, you can move the weapon to a new target within range and strike with it. So you can move move and strike for one action. Cool. I am going to sustain the spell, move my spiritual weapon to this tile right here. I don't have the access. I can't control that tile. And we go going to make an attack on this. Let me roll back up to my spiritual weapon and make an attack roll on the, on the plant that still just attacked. And I get a miss. <laughs> Good. All right. So that was one action. Uh, yes. Oh, I just... Can I place this spiritual weapon? Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, that's interesting. Second question I have, can I stand on this square right here immediately to my northwest? Or is that wall? Yes. Yes, you can. Cool. I'm going to step back out so I can get out of the fog there. Hey, bud. And then, for my last trick, I don't really have anything good I can do that's one action, so I'm just going to raise a shield. That feels smart. All right, the Iron Fern is going to target Zaba. And <clears throat> let me double check here. Uh, release spores. A creature that begins its turn in the cloud. Um, so it needs to make a fortitude save as well. It succeeded, so it'll take no damage because it has the hardness. Oh. And it it's okay. So it spend one action to attempt an iron leaf strike on Zaba. Natural twenty. Cheesy crazy. Oh. For 18. That was a big crit. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Thank Another. you. Another. 10 on the die for a miss. And miss. one more. 15 on the die for a miss. Zaba, it is your turn. And I'm going to need you to go ahead and make me the save, bud. You got her. 11. For 21 is a success. You will take half. Nice. Oh, Five. Uh, I Perfect. This cloud. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and expand the cloud. Uh, I'm going to target the enemy to my northeast. 
that has been previously struck at by Sill and the spiritual weapon. 12 on the die. That's a hit. Perfect. That's AC 23. Damage on the first one. Uh, 21 points of slashing damage. Okay. And hold on before you strike again. You sh- you hit this thing so damn hard that the same thing happened as the last time. That that metal coating around it just shatters away, and now the 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 creature just looks soft. Ew. Awesome. Uh, well, seeing that it looks softened, I'll switch hit and strike the one to myself with my second attack. 19 on the die. That's a hit. AC 25. Perfect. 22. It'll And the same thing happens. That this metal coating as well just shatters away and is broken. Perfect. And then just coming on the big old backhand, I'm going to strike my original target with the third one and see if I can't get it through. Uh, 14 total with a 13 on the die. Oh, barely a miss. It's all right. Zaba's feeling good. Zaba is feeling good because this, the one that you, that's just to the south of you needs to make a save as it no longer has that. (laughs) We'll see. Hold on. It's a succeed. So it takes half of... 11. Oh, oh, no. took the <laughs> oh, my bad. Hold on. Let me fix that. All right. Now coding is reduced. Hold on. Go for it. it loses its this. hardness and fire resistance. And gains a weakness to fire. Okay. All right. And this thing falls. Oh. It is dead. Wait. Oh. <laughs> as it breathes, and you just see like, like the blood from as it starts breathing in those spores. Now we go to Timothy. Okay, Timothy, from where he's at, he's at twenty feet. He's targeting this thing. He's gonna throw his shield star knife at it. There you go. All right. Let me roll up this. Hey, uh, any god that hears me right now, just let me hit good, please. 13 on the die for a 21. That's a hit. All right, let me roll that damage. Three plus two is five. Oh, yeah! Take that. Five damage. What's up? All right. How's it looking? Is it dead? Did I kill it? If One I second. Run, I'm gonna fucking run up to it. <laughs> fucking smack it. And <laughs> Timothy kills one. Hell yeah. As the encounter ends, but the spore cloud remains. Zaba, I'm assuming you're gonna run out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. So I guess I'll, I'll take one more round of damage from it. Yeah, just let me quick throw it up here for you. Timothy's uh, gonna be on the of it. Release spores. Okay. Just one more round. Whoa! Oof. Critical success. You take no damage. We're good. Look yeah. at you go. And All I'll right. head out in the direction Sil went. All right. There we go. Easy, quick, easy, quick combat. Yeah. Timothy's gonna go pick up his star knife. Clean off the goo that's from this thing. And his mom was to his breath like, I was fucking lied to. I was fucking lied to. Whatever the <laughs> fuck like, heard me and said, this is a mimic, fucking off my hey, nuts. Hey, you, you <laughs> rolled a natural one. I get to lie to you. That's true. That's what Tim, Timothy's mumbling under his fucking breath. Probably the fucking dark star told me that shit. You motherfucker. <laughs> you Blame motherfucker. on the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Timothy's taking a fucking swig of his alcohol. He's so fucking upset. All right. Yeah, there's a bunch of monster parts in in this area that you can pick see. Pick it up. Yep. Just pick up the monster parts. Pick up the guts and glory. 
Did you say these rocks look weird? I describe the rocks as a slight ridge of stone that rises from the forest floor, surrounded by a scattering of smaller stones with many ferns growing atop. The stony ridge look they look brown and decayed, which were the iron ferns. Oh, okay. The ferns were brown and decayed. I thought it was the rocks. Wasn't listening. Who needs healing? I'm fine. All right, I will I heal mean, myself then. I think, well, I think the others need it because didn't they swallow fucking shards of metal? Yeah. If we've got ten minutes, you know, I, I can take five hit points. All of five hit points. So. Oh. There's no point in going in not full. Well, I'm down a bit more is the yeah, thing. Yeah, ap- after you're I am, uh, I am feeling fine. Yep, are sure you, you are. Though? I, I mean, what I if, see What if uh, you let that other lady out, Timothy, and she could, you know, do her little garden do, thing for Zava? Do you want me to have her out, guys? Hey, we don't want to tell you how to live your life, but, you know, just being around her made me feel healthier, and... No, you no, make you me don't. feel kind of intoxicated due to the, you know, fumes. No, 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 you don't have to. I can uh, lay on hand, Zaba. <sighs> Did you magic. just want to hang out with her? You, I can have her possess my body, like, when no. we're not on the adventure, and you can talk with her. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk with you. You know, she just made the grass a bit greener to be around, and, you know... The blood went backwards into my body, and it was nice. I mean, yeah, I know she does more. She's just been holding on to more stuff. The blood went somewhere in your body. The blood went somewhere else. It went away. Hmm. Yes. We discuss this later. Okay, <laughs> look. I can have her come back out later, and I can have her see about doing something, okay? It's all good. That lay on hands was for you, by the way, Zaba. Ugh. I clicked heal because I thought that would let me heal you, but apparently it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't like it. He doesn't want to heal. Is it because I clicked heal? Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, is it not letting Zaba heal? Oh, no, Zaba's just not sure about it. Oh. It's magical healing. It is. But maybe it's the form. It's, it's all in the wrist. Touching, <laughs> touching you with the tip of his nail. Oh, yeah, it was no. One. I was going to no, say, germs. at most, it's like a shoulder pat. <laughs> it was like a <laughs> thwack. You're good. <laughs> no, I germs. I smack you and heal you for 12. By God's light, no. I smite you. Just like, um, yeah. Anyway. All right. We but also, further. also oh, yeah. could you fix up my lungs with Suvia? Oh, yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah, well, Refocus right. ten minutes, another lay on hands. No, it was just treat wounds. Yeah. Okay. It's faster. Yeah. Continue recovery. All here. right. You guys already, you know, done licking your splinters and patting all your little pricks and bruises from leaves falling on you. You, you got hurt. You got just... You drink too much. You guys ready Hi. to go? We're ready. <laughs> We're ready. All right. It's all rolling out way. there. Jesus. All right. <laughs> As you round the corner, uh, the forest gives way to the side of a hill, and the brush surrounds a clearing at the side of a hill. And the clearing contains a large bush bursting with red, juicy berries. Whoa! We found them! I do not trust this. Yeah. But we need these. Hey, look. I I found those blueberries you were looking for. Right, you're colorblind. (laughs) Good job. Can I uh, recall knowledge or like do a nature check to confirm if these are the berries? Absolutely. Give me a secret nature roll. Okay, do I need to walk up to them or nah? That's fine. Okay. Uh, skills. Nature. Secret. <laughs> Secret! These are absolutely not the right berries. I'm not sure hmm. about this bush. Didn't they say that Can... these were really hard to get to? 
I mean, I mean, we killed multiple things on our way yeah. in that can, would kill the average person. Can I do a recall? No, I'm sure. Can I investigate sure. berries? Okay. Sure. Secret. Zelda's trying to yeah, decide sure. which of his uh, weapons would be the best to act as a shovel because he figures instead of just taking some berries, he could just bring the bush back. To oh, the, wait, no, we're not supposed to bring the bush. We're not supposed to bring the bush. We need to leave the bush if we do find the right one. Eh, we see. Uh, yeah, these... You know that these are the correct berries, Timothy. <laughs> Timothy's like, how sure are you that they are not the correct berries, Vesuvia? Because I'm pretty sure that they actually are. I'm like really sure, actually. You also told us those other things. Okay, were... look. I got. I don't this. know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> I, I'll eat one of the berries. That'll tell us, right? Yeah, you know what? If you want to fucking eat a berry, go eat a berry. I am yes. uh, I, I am on standby, ready to freaking pump Zaba's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. Yeah, Zaba will get right punch up him in the, the bush gut and... really hard if he starts turning purple. Smash, yeah. ma- smash He's it. just going to pick whichever one looks the tastiest to him in this moment and pop it in his mouth. Smash cuts to Zaba in the fucking, in the fucking ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah the you pop one of these berries into your mouth and it is one of the most delicious and juiciest and sweetest treats you've ever tasted in your entire life you can see why this would be a delight and why they would want this. These are definitely wrong berries, guys. These are nasty. I... So is just filling his bag with everyone he can grab. All right. Yeah. So they're good is what you're telling me. <laughs> no, these are terrible. You would hate them a lot. For fuck's sake. Timothy goes over and eats one. Yep. Same. We'll grab a few See? for that guy. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, we should probably grab some for him. But not the nobles, right? Yeah. No. I I, I'm fine with fucking over the nobles. Uh, let me take a look at your character, sh- your party sheet. It's <laughs> always a good sign. I think, no, it's fine. I just wanted to... I think while this is going on, Vesuviak is wanting to change his encounter action, or exploration action to defend. Oh, it's already defend. Okay, cool. He's just keeping <laughs> an eye out for danger while we loot this bush because this felt too easy. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't our like ultimate goal. It's not the ulti- It's not the ultimate goal, but the way that those councilmen were talking made it seem like that these were going oh, to be. Sorry, didn't mean that much further beyond or even past the cave where the jewel we're looking for is. Yeah, wait a minute. That's all I'm I'm saying. If we think these are the berries, I mean, worst case scenario, we have to find different berries, but... Or we find more of these berries. (laughs) I mean, these berries taste like something probably someone would actually make into like a nice jelly and or jam. Then I'm being paranoid. So, like here, Timothy Timothy tosses a berry over to you. Try it. Vesuviak just gently nibbles on on the corner of the berry. Oh my god, you big fucking baby. <laughs> <clears throat> Sil and Zaba, you yes. both notice that behind some thick hanging vines right over here so to the south of the party against that the cliff wall behind some hanging vines is a hidden entrance into a cave oh i walk over and well it's hidden because of the vines vines. yeah just slice them away revealing the cave whoa yeah this is right where they told us the berries would be yeah Good work, right. Zaba. Hey, you got it, boss. Thank you for recognizing my labors. <laughs> yep. The Suviac just kind of shrugs and walks over uh, <laughs> by the cave entrance just to peer in. Yeah. 
Timothy's gonna make sure to grab a few more berries just so he has them as well too. And then we're fucking good. And yeah. Yep, so all in all you can grab several dozen. Hell yeah. A baker's of the berries. <laughs> like, yeah, forty eight. Damn. Forty eight berries. That's a good amount. Four dozen. Four That's several, dozen. right? Because if it was three, it'd be few, a few dozen, a couple two tree. You're saying words, and there, there sure are words. I've always thought few is three to four, because couple is just strict two. Yeah, several. Yeah, whatever. They're a number. Yeah. <laughs> An indistinguishable amount of berries, and by that we. Mean but not 48. a lot. But like, several wouldn't you wouldn't say like more than ten is several. A few pies worth of berries. <laughs> yeah, a few pies worth of berries. All I'd right. say that. So you see a narrow tunnel. Do we want to go in? If you, towards the end, you can see it opens up into a natural cavern. Ooh. All right. You guys ready to go? Or do we need to sit out here and have, you know, the campfire and the sleep? I mean, I feel fine to go. What about you guys? I sh- should be a, I'm gonna refocus really quick and then I'll be good. That would be smart. All right. Yes, you take time that you need to, you know, get your minds in mode for battle. Bad things live in caves, you know. Yeah. Do you speak from experience? But yeah, I used to live in a cave. So did I. Yeah. All right. I forget that you're. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, lived in a Bad cave things. on top of a mountain, actually. Huh. I bet it had a very nice lava river. Not so much lava river. That was more inside the cave. We mainly picked mm. it for the view. What do you mean, we? Aren't I, uh, normally used solitary? A, I used to have a partner. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> things did not end well. I Sorry didn't want to push that. that. He's not going to say any more on it. He's just going to go back to his meditation <laughs> to, to try and refocus his focus point back. Zabo will definitely give Sil and Timothy like the raised eyebrow look, but isn't going to pry. Yeah. Timothy shakes his head like, just don't ask about that. It's like, Timothy looks to you, Zaba, and like whispers it to you. It's like, I know a thing or two about having some baggage with uh, partners. Don't ask. Knows a thing or two about a thing or two? Yeah, a thing or two about a thing or two. All right. So how much time are you spending refocusing? Just 10 minutes. Okay. And give me a marching order. I'll follow behind Zaba. I want to be you want to. Do you want to? I mean... Do you want to go check out cave by yourself first? Yeah. Why don't I go peek around the corner quick and then I oh, will shit. come back. Oops. Except I tried to run through a wall. <laughs> run through real fake walls. It's a new ability. Yeah. So Sil so, is moving forward stealthily. Give me, yeah, give me a secret stealth check. Okay. Okay. You absolutely can make it. And what you see is that the tunnel opens up into a natural cavern. It looks like it's been roughly worked into nearly a square shape. You see a bunch of loose coils of rope piled on the floor. And there's a rope hanging from the ceiling about 12 feet above. A wooden skull dangles from the hanging rope at the entrance. On the forehead of the skull is carved with the words, Thieves, keep out. Oh. Is there... The picture makes it look like there's a line right in front of me. Is that just the... That's the rope. Rope? Okay. Yeah, there's, that's the rope that's going hanging across, and that's where the skull is. Oh, it's across that way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will not cross that rope and come back. Uh, it looks like somebody's nervous about thieves. There's ropes, like a skull and a warning. Zabi, you're not a thief, right? You're, like, honorable. If you need me to be. You, you seem like I the most honorable no, of us. Go yeah, ahead. hands off. You 
got it. Actually, that's fair. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I'll just, I'll just go in after you. I didn't see anything moving though. Oh yeah, you got it. I'll yes. I'll follow after. Actually, I'll be behind. Just so that way you're, if for whatever reason something comes from behind us, you're not alone, Vesuviac. All right. I'm about ten feet behind Zaba. Yeah, I'll just stride into the cave. All right. So once you get into the cave, you notice that in the northeast corner, there's a circular stone pillar that rests on the ground, rising about three feet above the floor. The top of the pedestal is flat and about two feet wide. There's old carvings here depicting a gemstone being broken into four pieces encircling this pedestal. Atop it sits a blue-green a blue-green piece of crystal shaped like a star. And I have art here for it. Whoa! Let me... Actually, I can't share the art. So... You can put it in group chat. Yeah. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> hold on. No, I, can, I can do that. Let me oh. do that real quick. Copy image, and let's go to Discord. <laughs> Throw this in crew chat. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty looking. A blue-green piece of crystal shaped like a star. Yeah. It reflects light across the top of the pedestal in shimmering flickers, making it seem like the crystal is floating on a shallow bowl of water. All right. There you go. I unpaused it now just because I wanted to get that out before. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, you know, there's this really pretty crystal thing in here on top of, like, a pillar and, you know, like, some piles of rope, but it seems safe enough. You want to come check it out? Yeah, what? I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah, Step I'm... past the rope. Suviac's absolutely following in. Yes, yeah, same, Zs. I'm going to step past the rope, too. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we probably can't just right, grab it and go. Whoa. As you step onto that spot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you trigger a tripwire. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. That is a critical hit. Ooh. As 34 damage is done to you, and you see a cutlass, a large-sized, heavy cutlass, drop from a rope in the ceiling, and it swings down right at your face and just gouges you. That's a loud scream. I think... Can I... Uh, could I, I'm like, pick battle up the medicine cutlass. this one? You're, you're not in combat. Okay. And there is a cutlass <laughs> swinging in the... There is a cutlass swinging in this square now. There are traps here! <laughs> there are traps. I'd like to try and grab the cutlass out of the air. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I probably I alerted my parents to be like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, the the last one yeah, we got. I mean the trap can't be re the trap can't be reset anymore, so it's Ooh. the trap's been triggered. Also so the it's whole fine cave now. fell in after oh. we hey. took the last one, so we might need to be quick. Hey, thanks for uh you know finding this sword for me. It's pretty cool. You're fucking welcome. And here, one second here. Once the creatures have triggered or bypassed the traps. Oh. So as that happens. Oh. Let me throw you all into combat. Because you notice, Zaba, that in the back corner, a bunch of the piles of rope 
start to slither and coalesce together into this giant heap of rope. And they start forming like Voltron to create this large-sized humanoid figure made of hemp rope. And I'm not just talking like the hemp rope that, you, you know, we see on a normal basis. I'm talking like the thick braids of hemp rope that are used on galleons and ships. And let me share with you all this art. Oh, that's oh. cool. This is straight up a rope golem. It's it, a rope golem. It's good. Got sharp teeth. How do you have sharp teeth if you're made of rope? What the fuck? Why not? Oh, well, you know, like, what is it? Like, when you grab some rope and after it rubs on you, I guess, like, it could really cut you up. Maybe that's why they interpret it that way. If whatever it bites you, it gives you rope burn. Awful. And you all can roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. So, yeah, I suppose you can do battle medicine. So, now, right. that, we, now that we've triggered in the encounter mode. I just asked too early. <laughs> my, uh, my, my metagame senses were tingling that something may have happened with those ropes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. You all roll better than the rope monster. Oh. As we begin the encounter with Cell, who gets to react first. Yeah, I'm gonna, since I can see Zaba's also ready to go, I will wait till after Zaba goes. That usually goes better. All right, you're gonna hold your turn until after Zaba. Okay. Let me drop you down. All right. And we will go to Zaba. Hi, it's Zaba. May I have a large cutlass? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not magical or anything. It's just a... Yep, just, no, a, just I, a cutlass. Uh, I said I was holding it, so I'm pretty sure I have to be holding it. Yep. Let me... Do you have a... Let me throw a cutlass onto your... There is no cutlass. There is no war boss in this area. <laughs> what, what would be a good one? A scimitar, maybe? I think so. I think they're the same. I think the difference is scimitar is d8, cutlass is d6. Uh, you can just take a scimitar. You have a scimitar now. Thanks. In my mind, it's a large cutlass. Yep. And with that, I'm going to see how many ropes I can cut through at once. You got this, bud. As I double strike or double slice. Hmm. Or not. Alright, looks like I hit on the second strike. The first one was unfortunately only a 10 on the die for a 19. The second, we had a 18 for a total of 26. That is a hit on the second one. All right, that's nine points of slashing damage. It takes nine slashing damage. Cool. And then I will slash it once more with my Bastard Sword. And would that be at full map or half map? It would be at full. Cool. Thirteen's a miss. Thirteen Free action. is... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, thirteen is a miss. Free action to drop the scimitar, not liking how it feels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we go to Syl. Yeah. I would really like to go attack, but Syl is going to instead seek directly in front of them since they have a clear line of shot to our actual target of yep. the gem. So I will seek in front of me for traps. Absolutely. Oh, I should roll. Seek, for secret that, perception. I Secret, secret. I got a secret. You got a secret. That's a, that is a success. And yes, the square directly in front of you is triggered, or is trapped with tripwire. Okay. And the seek is just one it's a cone. square? It's a cone. Oh, it's a cone. So do I know that the two after that are clear? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, don't or, step next to you, Or Timothy. it's a much harder trap than what you've... Sure. <laughs> right. I think they're clear. So I will hop down one hey. where Timothy is. Hey, Ow. you're doing great. The one that's uh. triggered, yeah. Yeah. And up diagonally towards this blue stone. And then uh, third action grab said oh look there's more than one thing can i grab only one thing per action though sure yeah yeah okay would. so i will grab the stone is that the first one yes okay the purple thing is the stone purple oh nice uh, okay grabbed maybe we don't have to kill this thing guys and run away Okay. And we go to Vesuviac. Oh, immediately, I'm healing Timothy. Thanks. Like, immediately. Battle You're med. the best. Absolutely, Battle Med. That is a success for 18 back to Timmy. Yippee. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking a lot better. Magically sutured the wound. All right, I'm looking at this rope monster, and one thing I know about rope, specifically hemp rope, is that it can burn. So I'm going to try and burn it with a fire ray. Okay. Target and attack. Oh, that's a hit. Hell Whoa. yes. That was a 27 to hit, 17 on the die. That's oh. a lot of damage. Damn wow. near max damage, two off of max for 22 damage. And it takes all 22 damage. Okay. And hold on one second here. One second. Let me double check something. Okay. No. Yeah, it, okay. It takes that it takes 22 damage. And Okay, I just have to read how this particular thing works because golems and Rachel knows this. Yeah. They certain things do certain things. Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck. So nah, no, shit. but but it, it actually worked out fortuitously in this in this instance. Okay. Because I would have had you roll four d six damage anyway. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> and so your 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 spell cat does four d six damage. Okay. That was your turn. So now we go to Timothy. Uh, <laughs> shit. Well, so from what I'm looking at here, just as me perceiving it, it doesn't look like it has any internal organs, skin, you know, a skeleton maybe, right? Just from vibe check alone, just from looking at it. No, it just it's made of ropes. That's a big yard. Well, huh? <laughs> I wasn't necessarily in. I I didn't expect us to deal with rope. <laughs> you and your I fucking mean, listen, rope. Listen, Timothy expects to deal with rope in certain other scenarios, but not this kind of scenario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Timothy! Oh yeah, he would be fucking dumb enough to do this after taking that nasty amount of fucking damage. He's gonna move up. Yes, because I think this will not catch Zaba if I move you here. Okay. Because I'm trying to do a cone from where I'm at. If From where I'm at, would I not hit Vesuviac? Zaba? If I were to... Or not Vesuviac, sorry. I meant to... I meant to say Zaba. And what's your cone? Uh, a 15 foot cone. Would I hit my target? I'm trying to find there you out. Go. Yeah. Sick. All right, then fuck yeah. I'm not going to hurt him. Okay. Hey, I'm going to cast a funny spell called Bone Spray. Oh. I, I've been waiting to use this one. So Timothy sticks out his hand and just a torrent of bones and shrapnel of bones just come out of his hands and he looks mortified that he did this at the same exact time that it's being done 
that thing's gonna make a reflex save. The okay. Subiac is staring at this, and his stress levels have just spiked. <laughs> okay. The other hand that isn't firing bows just goes, ah. I didn't expect this one. Not gonna lie. This is new. That's extremely <laughs> concerning. Okay, one second here. Nah, yeah, yeah, go for it. I don't know if it's gonna take the damage or not, but we're gonna find out. We're fucking experimented, dude. You do this. I do it. And you realize that as the bone spray hits the golem, yeah, it didn't it's almost like it's immune. I wasted a big boy spell on this. Fuck. Does it take any damage at all? Or mm, does it? Nope. No? Fuck. Okay. So it doesn't like necromancy, probably. Great. Could be the piercing, too. Could be piercing. Yeah. Great. Rope doesn't bleed, so that probably also got. I mean, piercing because you could pierce a rope and cut it. That was my rope. You could. Well, then Timothy's just gonna stand there and be like, hey, listen, I know I just fired Bonesy. You don't hurt me, please. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and the rope boy goes next. Okay. Okay. So this thing well Okay, let's see here. Well it's good to know that that spell wouldn't work either, so fuck yeah. Alright, no. Alright, it's going to lash out a whip at Zaba. I'll a say rope God. whip. What? Oh wait, I, I, I targeted Timothy, sorry. Oh god, uh, thank god it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that's AC 33. Was that that still, still would have still a critical hit. Yep. Still would have critted Zaba. It's fine. You called your shot. That's on me. And Ouch. 28 to Zaba. Oh, thank you. The brand, the Slashing fire. damage. It will spend its second action to grab Zaba. Oh no. With that rope whip. And for its third action, mm, it will, yeah, I think it's going to, it's going to constrict Zaba. Fuck. I'm going to need you to make that fortitude save there, Zabi. No problem. Oh, oh no, that's a two on the die. That's a big problem. You like don't products. have any hero points left, do you? Can I give no. you one of mine? No. Oh. All right, so this would be double damage. Yep. I'm used oh, to failing. Fuck me. If you go down, you're wounded three. So 22. Uh, uh, all right. And that's it's, that's the golem's turn. So it is Zaba's turn. Cool. I am going to strike it once. Okay. Oh, big hit. Nice. All right. Cool. Please do damage. 18. So 18 points of slashing, because I am only wielding my weapon one-handed. It's taking it all. Cool. Yeah, I'll strike it Hold again. Hold on, one second, one second. Oh. All right, well, 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 we can... I need to read the, read something up here. Where is it? There was something about... Oh, it's in the... Here. Okay. That hit was big enough that you start seeing shards and scraps of rope slither across the cave like snakes. Uh. Any creature who is grabbed by the golem automatically escapes when rope scraps slither away. So you are no longer grabbed. Perfect. 
um, because of this. Cool, that works out great. So my first strike hit for 18 points of slashing. My yep. second one missed with a 19 total. Mm -hmm. And for my third action, I'm going to listen to Syl, and I'm going to leave. Syl set to leave. So, Zava is leaving. I move 20 Shit. feet out of the cave. All right. And that is the end of my turn. Syl. Uh, so. Yeah. What's this other unusual object look like? It looks like rope. Grab it. I'm here. <laughs> Might be important. Mm-hmm. Then I will carefully walk back out, retracing my steps. So five feet to the west, diagonal down to where Timothy used to be. And hold on. <laughs> As the rope scrap slithered away, it reset the trap. But there's no more sword. Saba took it. That's true. He did. That's right. He did. He did. So... The rope smacks me. Yeah, yeah rope unless smacks the, you. Yeah. Unless the ropes took the sword off the ground and remounted it. Yeah, yeah. they could. You're fine. Oh, I mean, You're fine. I wasn't Lucky. really trying to complain. It. Okay. <laughs> Five, what? ten, twenty. So I'm moving back up, and then third action to run another twenty-five feet back. Let's <sighs> let's get out of here, guys. Huh. We've got the stuff. Oh. All right, Vesuviak. I'm going to use one of my spells. I'm going to use one of my heal spells on Zaba. Do two action one to heal him at a distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're no longer on death's door. Thank God. 24 to Zaba. Okay. Feels good. And then... Oh, I can't get out. So we're just going to move 10 feet right behind Zaba and hope that the rope golem doesn't attack me. <laughs> All right, Timmy. Really Tim. do. Oh shit! Timothy doesn't like that. That Vesuviak will be by himself. So I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I want to get the best. Can't room. die in caves. It's a proven fact. I don't. Okay. Okay. I think what Timothy's gonna do is move to be right next to you first and foremost, Vesuviac, so that way, hey, at least he's right next to you in case he can potentially drop a guard in the healing. Because he's thinking that he might call upon Carrie Underwood here in a second. God, that's the stupidest fucking sentence I've ever said in my life. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had a moment of self-realization as I was saying that sentence. Okay. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Timothy's not gonna leave you. So Timothy's going... Timothy's gonna cast Days on this creature to see if maybe this will work. I don't know, I'm trying, I'm shooting. I'm just shooting my shit here. And it's immune to... Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, Timothy's right here next to you, so that way, hey. Why are you not running, Timothy? Get out of the cave. He can't move anymore. I'm protecting our friend. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. Shit. Whoop. Hey, Vesuviak, uh, it was nice knowing you, bud. The golem moves up. We'll target Timothy. Oh, why? Well, listen. All right. Was it at the rope comment? And, Look. And it will... <laughs> Okay. Rope whip, Timothy. <laughs> Natural one. <sighs> Forget. I'm super good around whips. That's a critical mess. <laughs> almost wasn't. Very much almost wasn't. Almost Thanks. was just a normal miss. Yeah. And we'll rope whip uh, Vesuviac. Eight on a die for a 20 on the button. 12. Okay, it could have been <laughs> way worse. 12. 12. 12. All right, Zaba. 
All right, well, since it moved back up to me, I'll start <laughs> off my round by taking a strike against it. Nice, and as you should. And that's a miss. Yes. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold dog. up. It's going uh -oh. to use a reaction, and I'm going to oh. need you to make this reflex save. And that's a success. You're fine. Cool. And then, uh... Hmm. He was told to leave. You could always he did get healed up, though, in too. action. He did. Oh, he's going to swing again and just see how it goes. Miss. Miss. Cool. So that's another miss, and uh, he will move. Just. He won't move at all. He will just uh, stand there and look real angry. Okay. After swinging once more for an attempt, so might as well use all three. Hey, nineteen oh. on the die. Oh, that was just barely a miss. Okay. Uh, dirty 20 is not quite going to get me there. Oh, sad. almost, almost. I'm so sad. So? I, you're all noble, okay? But, like, really, let's get the fuck out. I'm dropping into a stance just in case it follows and leaving. Phew! Sil runs away. Okay, Vesuviak! I'm moving into the cave 20 feet. Or into yeah, moving out of the cave. Uh, out of the cave, in, <laughs> yeah, out of the cave, twenty feet. Um, I gotta look back behind me. I know that this is gonna be a bit of a hail mary, but I did see that my uh, fire ray did do some good damage last time, so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do the fire ray again. All right, roll attack. But that's not gonna do it. Uh, I can use a hero point to re-roll it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Any magic of this type that targets the golem causes it to take the listed amount of damage. Oh! You targeted the golem with oh, magic of, the, of, of fire type. So oh, hell yeah. <laughs> roll 4d6 damage. Let's go for it then. <laughs> All right. I get to save my hero point. That's only 8 damage. But I get eight, to save eight, my hero rolled, point. <laughs> you rolled so bad on those 4d6 considering you rolled too short on max last time. You can spend a hero point to re-roll your damage if you want. Oh, can I? Can I'm you? Do I that. thought it had to be a d20. No, it's a, it's a, is it a d20 or is it any? I don't know. I, I don't have an option to re-roll with hero point. Oh, yeah, it's, an, it's probably just a d20. Lame. Sorry, I got excited. Maybe you could re-roll it. Is it yeah, that's okay. I, right. I, be really I, cool. I, I, I'd still want you to attack it because you do have a crit effect on the fire ray. So. When a crit miss ends up hitting, we take those. Yes. <laughs> it, it was targeted. It was targeted. Boy. But yeah, if you had you done um, persistent damage, it would be a lot more than one before. All right, Timothy. Hi, I'm gonna try to leave. Or at least try to get. You guys have it down to half health. I'm just, just, I'm throw, gonna... just throwing it out there. Let me get behind my friend. Timothy looks to Zaba like Zaba. Are you wanting to fight this thing more? Or are we leaving? I am literally just waiting for you guys to get out of cave, and then I'm running away. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay. So Timothy moved once. Should be good to move again. I'm trying to- I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's for sure one action worth of movement. 25 feet. Yeah. So then... I guess fucking Timothy leaves the cave. Yeah. Okay. Timothy feels awful about running, but I think he's actually at the foot of the cave right now, and he's just waiting. He's just waiting to see, like, to help out if someone needs them. Okay. He's gonna target Zaba. I'm sorry, Zaba. Gonna whip the old Zabi. That's a critical miss with a natural one. He's Ooh, learned. Wow. <laughs> Is that two natural one whips in a row for you? Yeah. Yeah, you guys should take advantage of this. That's a one in four homer right. right there. <laughs> ah, six on the die for a second. Whip is a rip. Only and just barely missed, even with that. Yep. And then lastly, let's do it. And another four on the die. Wow. For an 11. A one, a 
a six and a four. All right, I am rolling like garbage. Please right. keep rolling like garbage. That'd be great for Zaba, us. Zaba, it is your turn. I will delay until after Vesuviac. All right. Let me move you down. Wait. Okay. Move you down. Why can't I move? <laughs> Hold on. It's not letting me move the tracker. Okay. What's going on? Sorry, team. That's okay. You all good, King. So how do you feel like the adventure's going so far, gang? I feel like, you know. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty doing good. Great. I think it's, it's all pretty normal. Assuming this thing doesn't chase us down. I have a feeling it's going to. That's fine. All right. So the golem went, Zaba moved. Okay, so it's Syl's turn. Yep, Syl will hop around the corner just a tiny bit and ready an action to strike anything from any direction. Anything. This is an enemy. Okay. <laughs> Finish my... <laughs> yeah. Yes, done. Okay, Vesuviac. After this round, we will probably just pause. I think Vesuviac stop. is just so gonna just launch. Be done, because we'll be gone. I think he's just gonna launch his last fire ray at this thing. Yeah. He's getting the feeling that it is gonna die pretty soon. So let's go ahead and just roll damage on that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, roll your attack in case you got a, a oh, crit. Yeah. So another another eight was not critical. All right, so but eight damage. Yep. And then Vesuviac is going to get Oof. to the mouth of the cave. Below half health. All right. Zaba. Seeing that my allies are making their retreat, I'm going to strike once. All right. It's going to use its reaction. Yeah, it is. And I need you to make that reflex save. No problem. That's oh, a no. failure. That's fine. The golem tangles up the creature's appendage with its ropey body. You are now considered grabbed. And while you're grabbed, you're immobilized. And you can't move. Until you escape. Well, I will attempt to escape with my second action. So that uh, will be at map, because you struck. So an escape has the attack trait, so it'll be at a minus five. It's either acrobatics, athletics, or an unarmed strike. Uh, this will be athletics. Minus five. And let me... <coughs> there we go. Oh, I rolled a seven for a total of a 15. That's a failure. That's not going to quite get me there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just strike it again because I can't move anywhere. So at full map, just one wild stab. Oh, I rolled a two. My dice have gone ice cold again. All right, here we go. The golem will spend one action to maintain the grab. Oh, you did. Yeah, you are you should be after Zaba. So let me, there you go, Timmy, you're up. Well, so Timothy sees that Zaba got grappled and is grabbed by this thing. And he has a moment where he's like thinking about running back or thinking about running towards uh, Silva and thinking about running towards uh, Zaba. And he just fuck it, and he's running back. <laughs> Runs in. He is going to use a uh, glimpse vulnerability on this thing. Glimpse vulnerability or recalled knowledge? Well, glimpse vulnerability because I the target gains a weakness too against my unarmed strikes True. and weapon strikes. All right. All right. And once Timothy does that. He's gonna throw, oh no, is he too far away from it? Fuck, he's just far away enough. I didn't realize it. So you'd anything. get a minus two to your, brick for the range penalty. Yeah, I'm gonna throw my shell star knife. Fuck it. Cause I, I wanna help out Zaba. Uh, yes, I think, I think this is correct. 
Six on the die is a miss. Yeah. Damn it. Mm. Well, he tried. All right. Now the golem gets to go. <sighs> Sorry, Zav, I tried. And we'll spend one. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. It's going to spend one action to maintain your grab. That makes sense. Mm hmm. And then it will spend two actions to toss Saba away. Oh, interesting. It will toss you 20 feet in a direction of its choice where you land prone and take 48 bludgeoning damage. So it's going to toss you. Yep, that's what I feared. Right there. Oh, shit, no. I should toss you right there. <laughs> to the Where trap. all the traps are fucking at. Onto the trap. So, 48. Can you use force movement to place somebody into a trap? What? Without a save, or is that considered perilous terrain? Force movement and then encounter. Distance you move this okay. If forced movement would move you into a space you can't occupy because objects are in the way or because you lack the movement type need, needed to reach it, for example, you stop moving in the last space you can occupy. Unusually, the creature or effect forcing the movement chooses the path the victim takes. If you're pushed or pulled, you can usually be moved through hazardous terrain, pushed off a ledge, or the like. Abilities that reposition you in some other way can't push you into dangerous places unless they specify otherwise. Because you're acting to you're you are not acting to move, this doesn't trigger reactions. So you can this does not trigger the reaction from the trap. So it can't trigger the reaction of the trap, but when you stand up, there's a potential you can trigger the reaction. So, but you'll take that 48. Yeah, yeah, I got her. And no you're prone, but you're no longer grabbed. Because it tossed you. And that's where we're going to end it. Oh, no. We're at over an hour and a half, so. Oh, really? God, I yeah. didn't feel like it. This Love is the end of trouble. round four. We will pick up next week at the top of round five. All oh, right, boy. folks. We hope your party never ends. Hope we got a backup character, Zaba. Uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash. 